We are going to look at the planner function and navigate student to see how students can plan their classes for future semester and also register for those courses. Here we're looking at the navigate student home screen. You can get to the screen by logging into your MyCVCC account and clicking on the navigate student icon. Uh, the recommended browser for Navigate Student is Google Chrome. Uh, once here, to get to the planner, you click on the planner link at the top. And this will take you to a screen that will show your program of study at the top, along with the number of credits needed to complete the program. And this icon will give you the program description. Here on the left side of the screen is the list of classes and requirements needed to complete your program. Any program courses that have already been completed will have a completed icon out to the side. Any courses that are taken in the current semester will have an in progress icon to the side. I'll show you shortly that once you start planning for courses, those courses that are planned for will have a planned icon to the side. In the list of requirements and courses, if more than one course can fill the requirement, there will be a triangle icon that you can click that will show you the list of those courses. If there are six or more courses to fulfill the requirement, the top six are listed first, and you can click View All Courses to see all options of courses that can be used to complete the program. And you can get out of this screen by pressing X. Over to the right is the My Plan box. Just below where it says My Plan, you can toggle this switch to show courses completed in terms prior to the current one. Then this can be toggled on and off. And below that is the Add New Term button, which can be used to add the next two future semesters. So in this case, we can add Spring 2020 and Summer 2020. Clicking will add the semester to the My Plan, which will also give you information on when registration for that semester will begin. To plan courses, you click on the three line icon beside the requirement, select add to term, and the appropriate term. We are gonna check two requirements at this time. If you add a course or requirement to the semester and want to remove it, you can click the three-lined icon again and hit remove from term. So now we have our science with a lab requirement listed for spring 2020, and it is also listed as planned in the program pathway. Here we'll click the triangle icon to pick the course we want to plan and hit the plan button. And now to register for that course, we will hit Pick Times. Here on this uh, registration screen on the right is a box that says My Schedule that will show the length of the courses you're enrolling for, whether they're 16 week, eight week, or if they're dynamic, how long during the semester they will last. And on the weekly calendar, you can block out times where you cannot take classes, so those classes will not appear as choices when you make your selection of course schedule. And if you need to remove these blocks, there's an X icon towards the bottom right. So we have our plan Bio 141 here. Since it's a science with a lab, we will have to select two parts, the lecture and the lab. The lab does coincide with a lecture, so once we've picked the lecture, we will only get one choice of lab. Once on the course select screen, you'll get the information on how long the class runs, the days and times, the instructor, the location, 
and how many seats are available. There is a refresh icon beside it to get the most accurate information of how many seats are available. Once you picked your time and day, you click Add Section. It will populate on your calendar and up at the top on the timeline. And then pick the corresponding laboratory. And then you will see that below on your scheduled courses. This does not automatically register you. You still have to click the register button at the top to enroll in the courses. Once you click the register button, you'll get information on the courses that have been registered. If there are any errors or any blocks preventing you from registering, you will also get those error messages that may require you to meet with a navigator or a counselor. Thank you.